How you doing, folks? Hope everybody all on the YTPC is doing well. <coughs> Decided to come on and make another video. This time I'm smoking a Peterson pipe. It is uh, one of the Sherlock Holmes series. Hound of the Basketball. It's a lovely pipe. I've had it for a while now. But it is an amazing pipe. And in it, I am smoking some Coniston plug, which I have in this jar. Got it. Well, laptop and put it in there just now. I just received this yesterday. I've seen some nice reviews about it. So I thought I'd get it. It's not like a plug, it's very you know, it's loose, we cut, but it's such an amazing taste of it, you can see that, I'm going to pull that up, I got some of that yesterday through the post. I've got it all wrapped up like that just now. I've got it in that jar. So it keeps it nice. Now it's got an amazing taste to it. It smokes really well. Real, real well. Good smoke. And uh, I've got uh, some stuff here I never tried. It's called Peterson's Balkan Mixture. I have never tried this, so I'll probably have a bowl of this at some point. And I also got some of uh, Blender's Highland Ready Rubbed. Now, I did try a bowl of this and it was absolutely lovely. It's got a nice cut to it. Oh, you can see that. It's, uh, tastes absolutely amazing. And it's an enjoyable smoke. It's very, I find this uh, quite sweet, this Carnoston plug. And uh, I also find this Highland Blend, it's got quite a very sweet flavour to it, you know, lovely blend to it. But I tend to enjoy my plugs these days. Uh, there's one or two I haven't tried and I'll need to try to get round to them. Uh, I've seen Peddling Piper uh, on about a few plugs. I seem to get a lot of info off him when I see his videos, and uh, obviously Matt and Chop, and uh, shout out to Pipe in the Patio and all these kind of people and Peddling Piper and Red Coats and just watching all all use how you. Smoke your pipes and hot tobaccos. 
makes me go out and uh, try different tobaccos. But yeah, my wife got me this pipe a few few years ago when I started uh, to learn how to smoke a proper pipe. You know, because I just I started off in a really cheap thing, probably cost about seven pound, five pound, I think. It wasn't actually. I should have started out in a corn cob, although I've got corn cobs now. But by gosh, did I know learn hard way? Burnt my mouth and oh, I said, look, oh, it was terrible. But eventually, by uh, just uh, coming on and uh, watching YouTube channels and. Uh, just kept kept at it and uh, watching all you guys out there learnt me a lot, a lot of patience and uh, but yeah it's such a great thing to have in your life as a pipe to be able just to come in or come home or get up in the morning and uh, just for that first cup of coffee to be able to just relax, sit quiet. <clears throat> and enjoy the, the briar of life, the flame of life. We have fire. But yeah, but it's funny, I don't know if any of you out there have smoked them, gold, tried them golden pipes, a company I think, they're Polish. I actually got, a, uh, I've got a few, and the thing is, they're cheap, but they actually smoke amazing. Every every bit as good as my Peterson pipes or my Savinelli's. It makes me wonder. You know, once you get the art of smoking a pipe or learning what tobaccos to put in a certain pipe, like if some tobaccos burn hot, put them in a you know a thicker bowl. But it's like going out and buying a pair of trainers. I think you know you can go into the sports shop, top sports shop, and get a pair of Adidas trainers that cost about eighty quid. Or you could uh, go into shoe zone. Go into a cheap shop, buy a pair of trainers for ten pound. And uh, the thing is, it's just fashion because the ten pound more ten pound trainers still keep my feet dry, and I can still walk in them just as much as I would pay for eighty pound. So the point I'm trying to say is really, you know, Peterson pipes are amazing, so Savinelli, but a, f a lot of these. Pipes I bought from uh, Poland, Polish pipes uh, are amazing, you know, for half the price. Mr. Brog, yeah, he's got some really, really good pipes, and uh, you know, you get gadgets, you get your lighters and your tampers, and all that for half the price and they smoke just as well <coughs> so it kind of makes me come to think you know pear wood and briar wood you know obviously we say briar's better and but I, find the, I just find the pear wood smoke just as good
So I can play guitar. I've been playing 30 years. And some of the most expensive guitars I've got are Gibsons. Les Pauls and, S, uh, Gibson, uh, and SGs, but I've also got the lower grade guitar, uh, costing guitar, the Epiphone <coughs> guitars, and I find a lot of them play just as good as the top end guitars, and actually come out better finished. But yeah, this uh, tobacco definitely is a Coniston plug. It just smokes really, really, really cool, and it's got a nice sweet, nice sweet topping to it. You can see the like sugary topping on it when you when you look at the tobacco, you know. There'll be a lot of you guys out there that know a lot more about it. I'm not one of these connoisseurs that can taste. Backwards as good as other people can describe it. You know, you got you know a lot of views out there that can describe it better. You know. But yeah. This looks good. Just keeps going now when I'm talking. <laughs> but I hope everything's going well with the YTCP, all you folks out there. I'm just stacking up on my, my winter tobaccos, uh, my Condor, ready wrapped and and Bruno already rubbed and I make sure I've got plenty of condor and St. Bruno in or when the winter comes in you know I find it great tobacco to be able to smoke in the winter time Yeah, so I, I just thought I'd come on and make a quick video. That's one of these wee lighters. Ah, wife got me, so it's quite, quite good actually, quite nice. Good wee lighter and it's got its wee tools on it. It's quite good. Quite smart little tools. You can get them out sometimes. There we go. Oh, that's quite a good wee lighter. Yep. I suppose it doesn't really matter to what lighters you use as long as you get your pipe, a pipe lit in. Sometimes I like using matches, it depends what mood I'm in, but if I'm going out and about, I usually take my Zippo one with me. I've heard a lot, some some people use uh, these torch lighters, but mm, I don't really trust them. Yeah, you know, I suppose each to their own, you know, but it's just not for me. Now I just started, I started smoking this bowl, this pipe before I went to bed last night and I was just too tired. And I left it. Whew, I smoke. And I left it until just now. So I'll just come on and make a video and talk about it. And I hope you folks uh, like a video and uh, if you can tell me what you think of this tobacco, that uh, canister plug, and if you have tried that Balkan. 
then years have tried that. And uh, <coughs> give me your thoughts, any of you, on that Highland Blend, because I actually think it's an amazing tobacco. I got it uh, from uh, some company in Bradford down, down south. Tobacco is down there, uh, Harris and Simons. Uh, I got the usually get my tobacco from down there or from Harvey's in Paisley, which is very good. They're both very good uh, tobacconists. That's Harris and, si Harris and Simons and uh, Harvey's in Paisley. Great tobacconists. They've got all the <coughs> they've got all the plugs and all the tobaccos that you need. So uh, I'll leave it at that and uh, I hope you all have a great day or a good evening or good morning wherever you are in the world and all the best to you and uh, take care over and out keep the pipes lit keep the home fires burning god bless you all